While most families in the U.S. are getting ready to celebrate Christmas, many others are preparing for other holidays or choose not to celebrate anything at all. We interviewed a few students whose winter customs differ from the norm. My name is Coltrane Bird, and I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Hi, my name is Vanessa Hernandez, and I celebrate Three Kings Day on January 6th. My name is Max Bruce. I uh, celebrate Hanukkah, a Jewish celebration of um, a success. So basically, it's celebrating the three kings who gave gifts to baby Jesus the day he was born. The Bible, uh, it actually doesn't say there's a certain date when Jesus was born. And so we don't celebrate Christmas uh, because we don't know when he was born. What we usually do on that day, we have like a nativity set. We have it like decorated and stuff. And so like our parents, usually it's like my mom, she'll like tell like all the little kids in our house, so it's my sisters right now, about it and like the story of when Jesus was born and like the whole role that the three kings played in it. It's kind of like a second Christmas in the sense like the whole family's there and like Christmas decorations are still up so it's like really nice. It brings a fair amount of people together. It's a smaller celebration. I mean uh, I've always gone to the, uh, the Jewish community celebration which is here in town. We have that every year. I noticed huh, when I was Starting in kindergarten, I kind of noticed that all the kids had a uh, certain late in the year they would uh, wish for things. And then when I started getting into fourth and fifth grade, they would have parties. And that's when I started to uh, really think about, um, you know, I'm different. And uh, they would ask me what I wish for Christmas, but of course I didn't wish anything. And when we had the parties, I would, me and my sister would just go home. Fourth or fifth grade, because I talked about the presents that I got at school, and everyone was really confused because they hadn't gotten presents. And I started like explaining the holiday to them. I was kind of known about my entire life. There's not a lot of Jewish people, especially not in the middle of America. Um, doesn't really bother me. No, I feel like the minority, and it was. I mean, I'm, I'm glad what I believe, and I believe um, my parents just didn't just raise me, and um, I'm just with them. I also believe in the Bible and its teachings about Christmas and things like that. I know it's not a bad thing, so I didn't feel like ashamed or anything. I really, I really like, um, I really like the holiday because I am really Catholic, so. It's just something I believe in. Just react with interest. Uh, always listen. It's at least interesting or good to know about them. Even if you don't really care or aren't concerned. Knowing that it exists is nice because you know, knowing more about the world that you live in is a good thing. You know, you shouldn't be oblivious to that kind of thing. We respect all people who celebrate Christmas, we just are a little bit different.